Greetings everyone and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia, where in the last episode, my brother and I managed to make a fair bit of a dent in our enemies' territories, though they do still have a fair few, I believe. Yeah, they, they do. They've got quite a lot of the uh, territories to the south, so we, you know, we're quite far away from realistically um, beheading this serpent. Still, we're making some progress, and I'm reasonably pleased with that. Public order is... Well, actually continuing to be quite an issue over here. Quite an issue. Mm. Hopefully that's going to go down with time. It'll take many years before they stop being quite as upset with the occupation, but they're just going to have to get used to it. Uh, well, I mean, the thing is, we're not really occupying so much as we have liberated. They were being occupied by, uh, by our enemy. And I freed them. You'd think they'd be happy, but no, they just, they just want they just want a quiet life. And my my brother doesn't want a quiet life. Your ally ally has declared war on another faction and calls for. Uh, and you've declared war on them, not the other way around. Oh my lord. Okay, it looks like I might be getting pulled into a much bigger war than I really intended here. But all right. Um. Looks like they have a few allies. Uh, only, only two actually. Still, their territories are quite far away. Hmm. Why are we being pulled into this war? Out of curiosity. Why are we going to war with this group down here? Okay. I mean, I'm not against it, but still, I'm not really sure why we're doing it. Of course, I'm going to stand with my brother, though. Now is not the time to break familial bonds. No, no, no. Hopefully that time never comes, in fact, but we'll see about that one. I mean, ultimately there's going to be one true king of Wales. Um, uh, vassalage is, is fine. There's no dishonor in vassalage. You can be my vassal. It's fine. Uh, right. A worthy bride. Uh, Yorworth has found a bride. Uh, I can intervene and say no. No, I don't think so. Uh, all this plotting has weakened your position somewhat. Or I can give my blessing. Well, let's have a look. Uh, this woman is consumed with ambition for her husband, his faction, and for herself. Plus five public order, plus one influence, and minor diplomatic penalty toward all other factions. Husband. Um, okay. Uh, I see no particular reason to not give my blessing, so I'm going to go ahead with that. Rich and poor alike run for high ground as the rivers burst their banks, flooding the fields and cities. Damaged buildings. Oh, well, scallywags. Uh, Alright, let's uh, get these repaired then, I suppose. Oh, don't dismantle. Oh, man. So many damaged things. That's going to be a big pain. Uh, Tread gained. Far-minded. Okay. Uh, wise. This fellow is even-handed and with and just in all his dealings, which engenders respect. Gained from the Moot Hill building chain. Ah, so influence plus one and public order plus three. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. I approve of that, actually. Okay. Well, let's go have a look. Uh, we could start work on this, but I'd rather not. Right Our away. Mm. Issue is, with that broken, we're going to have a bit of trouble, aren't we? Yes, we are. Alright then, I guess go ahead and uh, build that up as fast as you can then, I, I suppose. Every man will do his duty. Indeed he will. I'm going to continue moving Step northwards. Uh, gaining as much money as I can. Your faction is consuming more food than it produces. You can resolve this problem by disbanding units or by capturing or constructing food producing buildings. Mm. Maybe new soon. we should get into this fight as fast as we can. Advance, warriors. Indeed. Uh, me? Actually, is there a way across? Ah, the bridge is over there. Hmm. Okay, that plan isn't going to necessarily pan out then. Is there a bridge down here? I can't quite see. I don't think there is. Okay, well, this is kind of wretched, actually. I should have stuck with the uh, pillaging because it was bringing in enough food and supplies, but uh, this is going to be a bit, bit painful, actually. 
quite a bit painful, I think. We are going to have to see who deserts. If anyone does. I'm keeping my fingers and my toes crossed. Right. What have we got? Uh, development. Tides. Nothing in the world is certain except for death and taxes. Introducing the tide system across our lands will make, uh, take a small amount from our people's produce incomes and crop yields and we'll swell our coffers with additional wealth. Uh, very well. We've got something new we can research. Sacred King. Mere mortals are ordinary men, but kings and leaders are ordained by God. Ordering all monks, priors, and bishops to use their influence to help legitimize our leadership will see us wield more political influence. Plus one influence and plus one loyalty. And finally, true sovereignty. That would be very nice to get. Very, very nice to get. Okay. Well, four turns on that one. Still the only thing that we can actually go for right now. All right, how are we doing? Uh, starting to, to run low on a bit on supplies. What kind of garrison have you got over here, then? Uh, we can see a little bit about it. Nothing too terrible so far. Uh, we're still consuming more food than we are actually making, which is worrisome, to say the least. We've got two turns on this to, be, to have that repaired, and five turns on cattle. Oh, well. We time for us to get to war. Don't waver! Indeed, do not. Uh, turns until supplies run out and the garrison starts suffering attrition. Barricades available. Uh, okay. What does that mean? I have no idea. Total labor force. This is used to construct siege engines. The size of your army determines the maximum amount of usable labor force for a siege. This is the amount of labor you can use this turn to construct siege engines. The amount you use will be distributed from the total labor pool. Um, let's get... One battering ram, and three... Oh. We'll get all those done, and then we'll start work on more following that. What have they actually got? Javeliners? Have they actually got any... Oh! They have no archers. Wow. That's pretty rough for them. That's very rough. Uh, yeah. We may be able to take that without too much difficulty at all. Our brother has claimed this territory, so we've actually kind of cleaved them. Cleaved the northern parts of their territory off completely. I don't mind this at all. I do not mind it at all. Though this is going to present me with quite a lot of borders that I'm going to have to defend, which not as great. But then I think we need to have a word with some of the other Welsh princes. And also possibly with our other brother over there. Okay, time to pass the turn. We've got a couple of turns before this uh, hunger issue is resolved, which is worrisome, but there's not a whole lot we can do but try and get it resolved as quickly as we can without losing anything. Ooh. It looks like my brother is uh, rushing in, possibly to help us with this battle. We may even get their aid with this. We might actually be able to draw on them for support. That would be particularly useful. Alright. War declared. Okay. Uh, very well. These two factions are now warring. And settlement besieged. Okay, our army has begun a siege of this enemy settlement. They are surrounded. Very good. We are going to run out of supplies very, very soon, though. So we just need to uh, launch this this battle, really. It needs Warriors to happen. Attack. Uh, can I not? There we go. Right. We're, we're going to launch straight into this battle. I don't think we need to wait. Are we going to receive reinforcements? I don't believe so, and that is fine. The main thing is to make this my territory so that we are going to get uh, supplies again. Because right now, that's going to be kind of a problem for us. They do have some decent walls, though. Uh, there's a river running through. Uh, well, no, alongside. Uh, we can start anywhere, really. Interesting. We've got a couple of obvious places where we could... Uh, 
get in there. Mm, is it a bridge? I can't see a bridge along this river. It must be. Depends. Depends a lot on the sort of elevations that we see. Uh, sure. A dry day. Sounds good. Sounds very good, actually. Let's see. Any nice elevations? No. No, they're going to have the best best spots for all of it, really. We could drive straight in there. I don't think that's particularly useful. They've got a few turrets around. There's only one there, though, actually. That one's broken. There's no other turrets nearby to protect. I think I think we're going to attack from this side. Yes, yes we are. All right, everyone down here then. Womp, donk. Okay, so who have we got down here? Our axemen. Going to be right there. Then we've got a spearman. Probably another spearman. Good. I'll do. Right, grab these spearmen. You can just hang tight for now. Right, who have we got over here? Archers. Archers, likewise. Hang tight for that. Javeliners, uh, you can hang out with spearmen in here. And my cavalry. There's not much point in, in having you guys moving around too much. Okay, I think this is good. Downhill. We'll have a great advantage over those fighting uphill against them. Fantastic. Okay, right. Moving out. Get my archers into position so that they can actually start hitting them pretty hard. We will be using flame arrows. As for you, let's just get you in position over there. It doesn't look like they have much in terms of any units to resist us with. Okay, let's uh, let some time pass a little bit faster. We'll be getting up on top of the walls with these. I would like you to try and mount the walls a little bit further away from the gatehouse, please. There we go, that'll do. We are getting a few hits from this uh, tower here, but it's not really a big issue for me. Not a big issue. Right. Archers. Engage, please. Go for it. There we go. That's what I want to see. Ruin their morale. The morale needs to be gone. Oh, that looks so impressive. Look at that, though. Of course they are. They're trying to defend themselves. Don't expect them just to roll over and play dead, did you? Oh, that's, that looks amazing. I like it so much. This is what I love about these, these games. You can get right into the battle and see it. Look at that. Come on, then. They do actually uh, loose the arrows as well. That, that's particularly amazing. I like the, the combination of uh, red and green cloaks as well. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> that genuinely looks so impressive. Right, the battering ram is starting to do some damage. Good. Let's get you up there. Go. Let's move you forward as well. And my units are getting into position. And up they go. Brilliant. Let's slow things down a little bit. Get in there immediately and attack. Our uh, units should be up on the walls in a moment. Excellent. Get over there and attack them. There we are. Starting to uh, head up. Right, I want two of you over here, please. You two be ready to get up on those walls. I'm going to leave my archers there, just sending fire arrows over at them. I don't see much reason not to. How are you doing? Doing pretty well so far. Hold this area if you can. That's where I want you to be. Go ahead. Get up there. Once I can, I'll get my archers up here as well. You guys be over here. Try and hold the gate. If you can claim the gate, that's going to be amazing for us. Our 
Axemen are heading in and are now um, clashing against the things. They're fleeing. That doesn't surprise me too much. We have been shooting fiery arrows at them for a long time now. I right, want one of you up here then. Go ahead and get up there. Go, go, go. And you do the same. Get up here so that you can shoot down. You two. Let's move you up a little bit. There we go. Get my cavalry into position. Go. Right. Up you go. Up onto the ramparts. Uh, who do I want? Javeliners, please, first. Go. You should be able to get up using the the uh, siege towers. And once you're done with that, you get the others up there as well. Uh, uh, some are heading up. Go. Where are my axemen and how are they doing? And they're gone. They have got units coming to support, but we should be able to clear them out without too much difficulty, honestly. Uh, and uh, the spearmen are still getting up there. Go on, get right in. How many more need to get up there? Not too many. Can we get up? Go. Can you get up at all? Uh, I, sh I guess I can have the uh, spearmen make their march. The archers can get down here. Stand there. Ah, the archers are going up first, then the uh, javelins will get up next. Okay. Definitely don't have enough time to uh, have my spearmen just waiting there then. And how's this fight going? You've actually managed to break both of them? Wow. Two good groups there, and you've managed to take them both out. How are we doing down here? Have a look at you. Good. Uh, sure, fight them as they're coming up through the, the uh, stairs there. That would be great. It looks like we might actually be claiming this territory now. We may actually be claiming the the gatehouse. Brilliant. Now, where are the archers? Javeliners, archers. Can you go up? Can I get you to go up the... Uh, Will you? Will you not? No? Can you not use these things? No idea, but uh, it's kind of annoying if you can't. Oh, they can. There we go. Get yourselves all the way up there, please. Right. Come on, then. Up you go. Get up there. No? Alright, then. Fine. Right. Where's my cavalry? Let's get you through here. Go. Our general is under attack. Oh, it's fine. It's not going to be a problem. We have captured the gates. Good, good, good. Bowmen are in positions. Excellent. I could have my uh, my cavalry chase them down. I'm uh, tempted to actually. Let's get my archers through. Spearman, if you can get up there as well. Archers all the way through. Spearmen through. And my cavalry are chasing them down. Excellent. Uh, as for my axemen, they can take this position here. Archer, uh, actually, no, you're javelin, is that? Okay, right there. What we got? We've got a weak barricade. It's not going to be a big issue for us to uh, overcome that, I don't think. Okay, let's get you guys in and ready to go. All of you. Down you. Try not to set too many buildings on fire if you don't need to. I would like to actually take this one. Alright, let's get up there. Right. We got the rest of my army together. Not yet. Got all of you. Let's go. Get up there as you can. Yeah, yeah, I'll actually I have to go around this poor mine, but okay. they flee before our might. Of course they do. They're hopelessly outmatched. Where's Anna Root? Oh, Anna Root's stuck with the uh, rest of the army. That does make sense, actually. Get through there if you can. Right. Where is their general? If the general is even here. I don't think they... 
I just can't help him so much. Go ahead and uh, clean that area then. I do not see. Oh, there we are. Right, what have we got? Spearman. Uh, let's not then, shall we? Let's hold back. Get all the way back there. And the rest of you can get involved instead. There we are. That'll be a bit better. No, don't do that. Move. You, move. Let's not engage unfavorably. And the roots can draw back a bit. There we go. Bowman, uh, actually, you're good there, honestly. So you, Spearman can get involved. Let's see. Let's try and get around behind them if we can. Alright, it doesn't really matter. We've managed to break them. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. I am going to try and get my archers around behind when my units are engaging and have them shoot the flank or the rear of the enemy. Uh, but it's going to be a matter of... of <laughs> what? There is no way that we... Lo they Okay, I'll accept a lot of things, but I'm not going to accept that we killed that many of our own troops. I'm going to say that that was due to, like, the towers not being counted amongst your deployed units getting kills. I refuse. There we go. Naturally, we're going to occupy. There we are. Okay, so, new town. Uh, that is going to help a little bit. We can uh, assign a provincial governor. Uh, off his dick. Um, yeah, ooh. Uh, plus 20% market in governed provinces. Born commander, born commander. Hmm. Catwalder. Let's have a look for you. An eye for the bargain and an understanding of your market are essential talents for, the, for a budding trader. Sure. You can have this one. There we go. Governance of two. Very well. Very well. I just hope you do well. Now then, let's have a look. We've got uh, a grain exchange. Four pence tax on a card of grain. That's daylight robbery. Okay, deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's repair it, I suppose. Go ahead. And a mint. Coins hold power beyond wealth. They are legitimacy. They are loyalty. Very well. Faction-wide bonus of trade. I approve. And then we can get something else. Uh, market cross. Religious imagery gives secular legitimacy to centuries of commerce. Plus 10% bonus to income from markets. Fair building chains. Uh, I would imagine that might be the market fair. You get a tavern. That's very nice. Uh, unit morale. Church. Grange. Toolmakers. Grain pits. Water mill. Uh, we need research for... Actually, we need research for many of these. It seems... Not yet researched. Okay. Well, that's going to be a, a matter for us to uh, build up to then. But for the time being, having this territory is good enough. Pretty happy with that. We're still hurting with regards to our... Um, our food, but hopefully we can get that in order soon. Okay, our brother is off down south. Very well. Hopefully you're going to be able to protect these lands of yours around here. Oh, I bet they would have been great mines. I wonder. Okay, peace negotiated. Okay. War declared. Alright. And construction the fishing wharf. We're getting closer to uh, restoring our food situation. This military force is taking attrition, the White Shields. Yeah, I know. 
ready to fight. My warriors will not falter. Uh, okay. Well. Our spirits are I may have to let someone go. Might not be too much I can do. Three turns is all we've got to wait. <sighs> That's still painful right now. Um... Get patrols, provide a garrison. Food production goes down though. Lots of market buildings, but not something we can do just yet. Ah, that is unfortunate. There's not a lot we can do. I'm going to have to let someone go then. Who should be the one to go? I'm going to say. Are you not getting any additions? Um, you should be resupplying, but... Let the enemy I'm gonna let you go, I'm afraid. There we go. That should help out a little bit. For the glory of the right, go ahead and make sure you're... Not possible. Are you actually in there? This you should option. be. I wonder why you're suffering attrition. Well, I'm gonna have you move Every out and then in. Will do his duty. There we go. In Jesu's name. Hopefully, that will work. Jesu, did you just say in Jesu's name? <laughs> I can take a wild guess at the name. That they're hoping that they're saying. And if I'm correct, it's not Jezu. Uh, but I said I wasn't gonna. I, I said I was. Sorry, that that was that, that caught me off guard. I I said I wasn't gonna poke fun. I meant it. No fun poking from me. Can we persuade you to accept our friendship? Hmm. Their demands. Declaration of friendship. Uh, I mean... What? They're not actually a lot stronger, to be fair. How? Hmm. Double dealing despises the English. <laughs> That's probably going to be a fairly common theme amongst the Welsh princes. Uh, no. Influence, age. You're not nearly strong enough to work that. I'm not going to pay you for that. I'll declare a friendship, but I'm not going to pay for it. In fact... Given our... Re well, I mean, your strength ranking is quite high, but... No. I'll, I'll accept that, but... The current proposal is sufficient. Okay. Hello. Right. My throat hurts from all this talking. I agree. Let's stop talking, then. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, you know, making, making inroads towards a unified Wales is, is always a good thing. But I'm definitely going to have to have Anna Rood, uh, uh heading down, down around here. Attrition. Men lost, 94. Local, uh, your troops are deserting because you can no longer sustain them. Well, what exactly is the problem then? Parents. Oh, Tutwal and Gwen Lian. Joyous occasion. You've been blessed with a son. I'm an uncle. This is fantastic. We've de made a declaration of friendship with this faction, helping to ensure our mutual survival. Okay, yet another one has gone to war. Very well. Let's have a look at our family tree, shall we? Oh, that's wonderful. No, no, scroll down. Absolutely wonderful. I approve. I wonder how the generation game is going to come into this. If it's going to come into it at all. 
Uh, there we go. We are now actually gaining uh, because it's friendly territory. Good, 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 good. We should just be able to uh, sit tight. Uh, over here, it's not so bad anymore. The occupation is, is slowly being forgotten. I'm very glad to see that. Very glad indeed. Uh, one more year on... Oh, sorry. One more turn on... Well, it's probably a year, actually. On this. Let's have a look at our faction and see how people sit. I mean, you know what? That's not actually too bad. We've got a decent bit of uh, influence there. Decent bit of influence. Yeah. Let's have a look at our governors. In terms of influence, Arthwell is one of the, the more influential. States wise. Oh, I took that one back. I see. Hmm. Well, I could give an estate. Well,. I'm getting extra legitimacy because of that, but uh, it is affecting loyalty. More influential than a ruler. Hmm. I know. I th I think I'm I'm enjoying having that level of influence. I need to keep hold of that for now. Uh, okay. Well, we, we should be well. recovering now. Good. Still way too low though. We'll pass an extra turn. There's not too much for us to do. Both my armies are pretty close together, which is not as useful for me. But uh, ultimately, I would like Yorwerth to come and sit in this city and guard this area. Have a nice big garrison there uh, while he's got the smaller army. And an Araut can start moving further to the south. Call to arms. Really? Where? All the way over there, really? Why would they? I guess so. We've got a tiny little area, though. Of course I'm going to enter the wall on the side of my eye. We could possibly even cross. I might. I need to negotiate a means to cross, otherwise I'd be trespassing. But we might be able to just get in there and, and shatter that place. And probably, given how far away it is, just sack it. I'm not particularly interested in taking that territory. It's way too far away for me to be able to uh, keep uh, keep safe. Uh, there we are, Sacred King. Now for the last one. True Sovereignty. History shall be written by the victors, and victors we shall be. Establishing our place in this world, whether by war or diplomacy, will mean our sovereignty shall never be in question. We shall prevail. Major diplomatic penalty towards all other factions. And plus 20 heroism. Uh, I mean, having a major diplomatic penalty is kind of not good, but uh, okay. Totally going to take it, though. Uh, there we go. Now, can we get over there? How, easily would, how easy would it be? You have to cross through here. Well, right now I need to wait on my supplies building up anyway. But we could start making our way over there. Let's make most of the way down. Get you on your way over. Now, can't attack. Recruitment enabled on territory. Sure. Go for it for now. And then we'll uh, continue moving on down. For the time being, uh, I am going to want to improve our food situation, though. If we can get an extra farm set up, that's an extra 10 there. What about over here? Well, that 30 food production. The Tithe Hall. That's very, very tempting. Uh, brain storage is never just as simple as throwing wheat seed into a hole. It would drop our income by a hefty bit, but that plus 30 food production. 
Alternatively, we could just gain some money. Plus 15. No, it's going to have to be this. I'm going to go for that one. Let's get that on the go. My warriors will not falter. Yeah. Now, where are they going to come from? Have they uh, brokered passage through these lands? That's the question. Because even if we can't, I might try to make a quick gallop through anyway, just to sack their town. If they bring out their army to attack my brother's holdings, and I can sweep in from behind and sack their city, that would actually be pretty nice. Mission issued. Castle, uh, Castletown is the main settlement on the Isle of Manor and is a fortified community of fisherfolk with an abbey nearby. The inhabitants of Castletown are said to favour a system of governance for their isle which gives the common people a say in how their land is run. Seems unlikely this will catch on. Manor has recently been claimed as Viking territory, which is no surprise given its strategically important position overlooking routes that cross the uh, three seas. It is also not far from Gwynedd, so perhaps you should take Castletown for yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Well, that isn't too far. We would have a long sail, though, and by the time we got there, my men would be pretty bloody sick of it. I should imagine. We could make a push, though. That's definitely a thing that we could do. Are you enemies to me? Mm. Ah, it's an English rebel army. Okay. Getting over to you is going to be tricky. For the glory of that the much country, is quite clear to me. Uh, let's just get you into the into the settlement first. Can you not get there? No. Yeah, I haven't quite got enough uh, movement to get all the way. All right, let's see if we can't negotiate some sort of treaty here, shall we? Is there any way to easily bring up diplomacy with you? It doesn't look like it. Cattle herds are done, good. And a new faction. Alright then. Well, let's see if we can't negotiate passage. There we go. Negotiate diplomacy. Good. I would like. Um, military alliance. No, no, no. Payments. Cancel military alliance. No, 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 no. no. Join war. Hmm. I will offer medium gift. Oof. I don't want it to be a gift. I want to buy something. Uh, is there no way for me to request to move through? Military access. There we go. And I will also pay. Offer payment of how about five hundred? Five hundred and seventy. Will that be enough? No, apparently not. I'll offer a bigger payment. Seven hundred. Apparently. Still insulting. Hmm. Then I guess I am not gonna be doing that. Okay, well there's no way for me to access you. So, given that, I think we may be heading up this away. See if we can't uh, set to. Well, actually, no, I think we should try to go from Manismorn. We'll head up all the way to Manismorn. Get across there if we can. Uh, let's trade some units, actually. Uh, the Red Dragons, oh, I like the name. Uh, let's give you... 
a fairly experienced archer company. I will take the inexperienced ones. You can also have this one. I will also give you them. And an inexperienced cavalry company as well. We cannot do that yet. There we go. Right. Every man will That'll do, do for team. now. We can't do that just now. We'll trade places. I'll grab some more people over in Aberfro. Then we'll head up. I think that'll be the best way to go. This character has an unassigned skill. The military force is taking attrition drive. What? Why? You shouldn't be. Either way, Tudwal has got a level. Now then. Uh, let's see. Could have forager, 8% units, plus 8 food production, local province. Priest. Loyalty, maybe. Um, what would we get with an extra there? Less corruption, more morale. I think getting more food would be better. There we go. That'll do. That will do me. All right. I'm not sure why we're suffering attrition there, but uh, perhaps you briefly went into the water and you're feeling seasick. Uh, the Vikings don't have to struggle with seasickness, which is probably amazing for them. Not quite so for me. But I'm going to feel a little bit better with you having a, a stronger military force behind you. Okay, what's happening over here? Are you moving through? Hmm. Sorry for slipping my drink there. I apologize. Action destroyed. That's fine. Warriors will not falter. Let's go. And you guys can get in there. There we go. Indeed he will. Alright. It'll take us another turn to get over there, unfortunately. But Yorworth. Very nice. Uh, I would like a champion, yeah? As, well, that would give you an extra two command. Enables night battles. Enables rally three as well. Or I could go for a bard, which would get you up to well, actually quite quite a lot of morale. In fact, alternatively, I could go for foraging. Hmm. Now it has to be the the champion first, I think. There we go. That is very nice. And Catwalder. Let's see. Well, since you're a governor, a scribe would help. We drop corruption quite a lot, but I think a forager for the food would be better right now. For the glory of the Cymru. There we go. That I approve of. Uh, we'll wait a little bit longer on food coming in, though, before we do too much more. How's things going over here. We could increase the farms a bit. Or we could work on our buildings over here. We would drop 20 food production if I built this. But it would give us an extra slot, so I'm really tempted to. In fact, I'm so tempted that I'm going to. And whilst that's happening, let's get some more places to make food to try and... Uh, help with that. It doesn't look like my brother has too much to worry about right now. So I, th I feel confident me moving my uh, biggest army up, but I am going to want to grab a couple of extra units as well for uh, Anarad. I don't think we want to be making that trip without a fairly hefty army to stand behind us. The rebels are doing a real number on these towns, though. Seems these other factions are really struggling to manage their their peace. Oh wow, you got another child. My lord, joyous occasion, the family members have been blessed with a daughter. Well done you. Viking raids. A scouts are reporting the small raiding party from Hayden has been seen approaching Britannia from the northeast. Okay. 
One of the Welsh vassals under the yoke of Anglo-Saxons has broken free. They have declared independence and raised swords against their former liege lords. This new conflict could greatly destabilize the region. One of West CX's Welsh vassals declared an independence war. Hooray! I approve! Massively! Karnai is gone to war against West CX. Very well. It's quite far away. I'm not going to be able to help out with that war, but I do approve of it all the same. Every man will do his right, let's get up here. We've got practically a full uh, full unit here. Let's go ahead and grab some more then. Uh, obviously, more archers, always useful. Now, I could get more than that, but I think it's probably best if I don't, honestly. I think it's probably best if I wait. Because we are going to have a lot of bad stuff. That's seven turns, seven turns as well. Uh, how long on this? One turn there, and we'll have a big wallop of food coming in. So it's not going to be too bad, I suppose. All right. So the last turn, and then we're going to be wrapping up this episode, I think. We've got a uh, small-ish army uh, holding this. It is a bit on the small side, but uh, we can build it up over time. It's got experience, though, which is very nice. That will help us out quite a lot. You ever can actually manage to get through there and go to war with us properly? Or did you just declare war just because you felt like it? I, I think it may have just been sending insults. They had to go to war to save face, but realistically, they didn't expect to actually be in war. There we go. And true sovereignty. There we are. Fantastic. Can we actually research anything? Oh, we can research agriculture, maybe. Hmm. Acquiring more facilities to store grain will necessitate... Oh! Right. Very well, then. That I approve of quite a lot, actually. Need one more Welsh bowman to unlock the Welsh hunters. But this is going to allow us to build the water mill. Okay. Four turns. We'll try. Okay, we uh, actually, we could easily afford to do that now, thinking about it, if I could get a bowman. Ah, drat, no bowmans. Well, not doing that then. And I wouldn't mind extra cavalry, but... I think instead we'll get more spearmen. Maybe an extra skirmisher as well. Or well, possibly we could start getting some more Axemen. Yes, I think so. There we are. So another Axeman, another Spearman, another Archer. Not bad at all. Get along there. there we are. We are Arthur's folk. You True can hang Arthur. tight there. And we've still got enough room to do what we need. Now let's have a quick look. How far away are we? We need another six to get melee. I only need another two to get spears. That's actually pretty good. When five siege battles, I've only won one so far. I need to get another six cavalry units. Uh, raise the general to rank ten. We're uh, probably quite far away from that. Uh, attack another army ten times. I've only done it twice so far, apparently. That is actually a little bit surprising. I'll be honest with you. But on that note, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We've got a couple of wars that we're fighting, but none of them are immediately pressing on us. Uh, how's my brother doing, generally speaking? Not doing too bad. Uh, he could be pushing further south, but he is not. Uh, in the next episode, then... Ooh. Welsh Rebels, eh? Ho oh ho in the next episode, I might be going down there to try and crack that Welsh rebel army. And if I can, then that's going to give me a province down here. I mean, it'll be a pretty split up province, but getting a foothold down there wouldn't be too bad. It would be a, a staging ground for me to try and unify the peoples of David. Yes, I like it. 
Okay, well, that's the plan in the next episode. I was going to go up here, and I still might, but this is a tempting opportunity that might not still be there if I don't take it as quickly as I can. But that's going to be it for me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.